kind of violence did you like? Did you like violence against yourself or other people? Somebody that we're going to encounter within this building behind us does not go by a name. They go by a patient number. And I think there's a six in it. Oh! Somebody just touched my hand! Oh! oh. No! Oh. Oh. What was that? It was metal. You guys heard that? Yeah. Bathroom down here by myself right now. This is it is taking me everything in me right now to stay here for you guys. This is. Oh! <gasps> Well, here it is everyone, part two of Indiana State Sanatorium. If you guys missed part one, for real, hit the link in the description below. It's right down below before you guys watch this because last part, we came across something that literally shut all of us down. It was insane. We were roaming through the tuberculosis hospital. The most bizarre stuff happened. We heard stuff, felt stuff. It was just bizarre. <laughs> Oh no my fucking God. way! <laughs> what? He just screamed again. It's not raining, we just heard you screaming, we're coming. Oh my bones! Oh my! Oh my! If you guys missed that, hit the link down below, go and check that out before you guys watch this episode. Right now, this marks our first milestone here at Indiana State Sanatorium, where we're about to go into the psychiatric ward where they mixed up elderly people with mental health patients for what they've said. Now we don't know what time frame all of this stuff went down in, so oh. what the hell? No way. Okay, so just for all of the viewers, that light we checked, we turned that on for what? Like two minutes? Wait, did that light just go off? Yeah. This and light just went off. My oh. light just went off too. That one went off too. They went off at the same time? No. No. I, I didn't notice the ears went off. Yeah, mine went off. But I really noticed that one. And legit, you and I checked it before we came up here. And we Hold said, that. what's the, I said, what's the battery like on that? And you're like, oh, it's at 76%. And I said, no, that is the output of the percentage the of the light. Yeah. And I was like, there's the full bars showing you that it's a full battery. And you're like, sweet. And I'm like, yeah, great, awesome. We literally just checked that, like not even 20 minutes ago. Yo. <laughs> That's uh, th weird. And you were just picking up something. Uh, yeah, I just picked up a message. What's the message? Somebody that we're going to encounter within this building behind us does not go by a name. They go by a patient number. And I think there's a six in it. So they're not okay. at all telling you their name. They're just saying that number. Like, I prefer to go by patient number, blah, 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 six something. The fact that they prefer to go by that as well. Wow. No. This is insane. For everyone watching too, if you guys are new and have never seen Kim before, she's very similar to Chell. She can pick up on stuff as well. So between the two of you guys, I pick up random shit throughout these buildings. It's crazy. And this is why I want you guys to go and check out part one if you guys have not seen part one yet. Everything's in the description below. Literally go and watch that. Shall we try this building? Mm -hmm. like, I, I think we need to waste more time out here first. <laughs> it almost makes it makes sense because like from what we like encountered in the other building, I want to stay outside. I know. For, like, but like I also want to get in there. So it's like, what do we do? We were left in such a weird position where like all of us felt so unsafe and just vulnerable and all of this stuff, right? This is also a building that we did not get to explore during the day. So this is our very first time walking into this realm. Yeah. Yeah. Realm. Mm-hmm. Nice realm. choice of words. <laughs> Don't know why I chose that one. Just came out. What does the... That full. What? It's literally at full. Oh, I can't see it on that, but yeah, it literally is still at full. Here, does I'm that camera get that? What? It's at full. Yep. It must have shut off when like I put this camera down. No, it didn't. It shut off while we were while we were doing this. Yes, and this caught it. And that camera would have caught this light going off. And I bet you they went off at the exact same time. All right, we gotta we gotta we gotta go in here with 
a strong head, guys. Like for real. We got this, guys. We got There's this. So many people claim that this is the most haunted building in the whole entire facility complex. And technically, it shouldn't make sense that it's the most haunted because the majority of people who passed away on this property passed away in the tuberculosis hospital mm -hmm. building. And also, to add, before we go into this, someone fell off the roof here. This was that I building. Think three? Yeah, so three. five people jumped off or fell off and three passed away. Yeah, and the crazy thing is that you're allowed to go on top, which I don't think any of us will do tonight or even in the daytime. But like even then, like it's, it's sad. It's also... Sketchy. I don't know, maybe they could be haunting this, I don't know. But let's go in there. Oh, wow. Whoa. This is also a sad They're still doing their beating work. Oh my god, look at the ceiling in here. Wow. Oh my goodness. Jeez, look at these prison tables. <laughs> what the hell? You're gonna want to see this. It's like, there's a time capsule room down there and a way upstairs. It doesn't look inviting. Wow. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm just getting a really weird pain in my chest. Like right here, right, like a really, really sharp pain. But, I don't know. What side your heart on again? Your left. Left. Yeah. Slightly to the left, mostly in the middle. Okay. Yeah. The pain's like right here. Interesting. Let's keep an eye on that. Oh, look. <laughs> There's a basement going down. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. yeah that's not scary. There's my broom. <laughs> if someone's in here and wants to make themselves known, it's okay. We just came to communicate. What's that? Oh, that's the outside. <laughs> like, that seems really dark. If someone wishes to communicate, feel free to. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to find out some answers. Whoa. Dude, what? Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa. This does not get any easier. Whoa. <gasps> it's like each floor we go up is getting heavier. Mm, it's heavy on my chest right now, too. Yeah. If anyone in here who wishes to communicate, are you able to make a noise so we know you're here? Is the stairwell going down? It must be. Yeah. All right, I think we should keep moving up. This floor, to me at least, feels weird, but kind of dull. The fourth and the fifth, the fourth floor was for men patients. The fifth floor was for violent male patients. Then the first and second floor were women. The third floor was co-ed. Okay. So this would have been the second floor, so women's. But the fourth floor is where that um, patient passed away. This is the third. Did we ever get a room of which? No. No, I... But hang on, guys. Hang on. I wrote on my notes something. Mm -hmm. There was a story, too, about the woman who took off all of her clothes. Mm. And she... I feel like that was on the fifth floor. I don't know exactly, but she said that she kept seeing like a nurse wearing a tall pointed cap, mm -hmm. which is more tuberculosis times. And this, this part of the hospital is like a little bit later, I think. So I wonder what room she was in. Mm -hmm. What well, she, she was seeing. been in one of these floors. I guess, yeah. yeah. To her and grade. then she took off all of her clothes and went to the water tower, right? And yeah. then she did, I don't know, if she, I don't remember. Hypothermia or something? Yeah. Maybe. 
Um, you made me remember when you said the pointy hat was um, the owner did mention that that made sense because this building at one point I think was used for the nurses to house nurses. Oh. Mm -hmm. And the pointy hat was like a TV nurse thing. Oh man. So up here is where someone got steamed to death. I guess one way we can find out which room, if we really wanted to, is we would look for the pipe that's broken. Gross! So he pulled the pipe, right? He like, took a wrench and like unscrewed a part of it. So and this was one of the patients. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So that could give us a hint to which room. Just something to be mindful of. What do you see down there, Kim? Nothing, just looking. <sighs> Whoa, something just came like super close to my ear. What? It sounded like you were walking, like, and you like walked on something tile wise, but instead of the sound coming from down there, it was like super close to my ear. Whoa. We're gonna walk. Again. No, it wasn't that. No, I don't know what that was. Sorry, continue. Carry That's on. weird. Where would steam pipes be in a room usually? Oh, no. right there. Oh, look. Rules for keeping your room clean. I just got doctorship. Doctorship? Doctorship on this thing. You were only allowed to have 10, um, it. Ten outfits was all you were allowed to have. So can you make multiple pieces comprise of an outfit? Like can you have like layers and layers and layers and say this is one outfit and it's really like <laughs> ten pieces of clothing? That's what you would do, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you seen my closet? Yes. It's impressive. <laughs> Just the overalls. So we're looking for a pair of vintage ones. Literally. If you catch any weird Maybe. audio. Whoa, out of order. Mm, Bathrooms are creepy showers. Oh, it's got like a weird pinch in my like elbow arm, like right in here. Is there something behind you? I don't know what that was. It's weird. Now that I'm looking at where we are, it's a lot of blue. This whole hallway, the colors are blue. And there's a couple green rooms. Wait, so you were saying a man was leading you somewhere? Yeah, so like, remember in part one, I kept talking about a man who followed us in and he kept repeating blue, green, orange, and he said that I hear voices like he does. Mm, yeah. Um, well, when we all went back to base camp, um, I was sitting in the room with you, and remember, I was like, I'm getting this visual of this man sitting on the floor, rocking back and forth, like he's trying to soothe himself, just repeatedly saying, like, those colors, blue, green, orange, blue, green, orange. And then I just started to cry, and I had an instant message, just, I was crying, I had tears, and then it just kept saying blue, green, orange, blue, green, orange, and then fourth floor, fourth floor. So on uh, me, in my head, I put that together as he's trying to soothe himself, psychiatric, fourth floor, blue, green, orange. And then now I'm looking and like this floor is, like it's all blue, the, all of the stuff is blue. So I don't know, I think he led us, wanted us to come here. Maybe Whoa. a good spot for you to do Estes. That's a great idea, yeah. Try to see if I can Tap back in. in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think he needs help. I think he's trapped or lost. He's like lost, trapped, and confused. So Chels has taken on the honors to go into Estes here. And honestly, it's been a hot minute since we've gone into an Estes. It's been quite some time. So I'm excited. Hopefully we can get some answers as to who's so, here. And if it would be really great if we were able to get the patient number of the spirit that sent Kim the message. Um, kind of get the room number of maybe where that gentleman passed away. 
And then something to do with the spirit who's been trying to contact me. Dope. Be I think that's a great itinerary. I think so too. Off I go. All right. Let me turn the volume up super loud. Okay. All right. Goodbye, guys. So if you can hear us right now, right. I'll introduce us again. They already know me. They already know you. What's his name? There was Simon. My name is Lamar. If you can tell us your name, that would be great. We're looking for the man who unfortunately steamed to death. I have a camera below us that will actually capture your body if you feel like you want to walk down that hall. It's not going to hurt you. Lucy? Go in the room. Which room? We'd like to know what room. Shh. Four twelve. Four twelve. Four twelve. Four twelve. There's four twelve. Is that where you? Four ten. Oh no way! No way. Four twelve. You gotta be kidding me. You? No. Stop right now. Do you want to peek in? I don't. Actually, no, no, I don't either. This is four twelve. Yeah. Oh, no, she, no, she just said, get out. As soon as we step it's in. It's a trap. What do you mean it's a trap? Why would they admit it's a trap, though? Maybe somebody else spoke up. I was about to mention that. It's her. What will happen? Eight. What will happen if we go in here? Is someone gonna hurt us? Them. Get out. We're not in any room right now. Get him. No. What the f no. You're not allowed getting anyone. You can't hurt any of us. Ha <laughs> ha. Do you want me to say it again? You can't hurt any of us. Don't look under the bed. Well, I'm just trying. What the f <laughs> I think that's an invitation. Don't you? There's a bed right there. What the hell? I'm with you. I don't see anything. John. Are we speaking with the boy or the man who steamed to death on this floor? Candy cane. Was that moving behind her? It almost sounded like something. Oh! Somebody just touched my hand! Oh! F no! F way. Oh. No f way! You can't touch anyone. You can't hurt anyone. Are you okay? Are you okay? Huh? Are you okay? Yeah. I Grab wonder if hand. anything came up on the EDI. That would have caught it. You okay, bud? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. It just like quickly touched my hand. That, right when I in. said, did you hear that movement? Behind her. It's like something came behind her and just touched you. That was insane. Maybe it's a trap meant that it wanted us down there so we were away from her here. Well, you guys weren't like here? No. No. We went down Joe. to 412 to check it out. You said 412. <laughs> yeah. And then you said it's a trap. That would make sense. They wanted you down what there. What the hell? They did something. I'm gonna go back in because it's like super like talkative. You can touch me, but you're not allowed to touch them. Especially Chelsea while she's under that state. Forward. It's a lot of sleep. Are you down this hall? 
Are you hearing the voices that aren't coming from her to the right? Headphones. They are. They're gone now. Wait, you heard something? Yeah, I heard, I heard like men's voices down there. Anymore. What does it sound like you're saying? Shut. I couldn't tell. Francois. Francois. Is that your name? Yes. Whoa. Voices. Are you the are you the man who hears the voices, Francois? No, but we hear you. That was loud. Here, right? We need energy. And and you heard it coming from behind, like that way? Yeah, some of that way. Yeah. That echoed. Yeah. That literally echoed. Ten, ten. Hi, Mom. Who's echoing down the hallway? Who's talking right now? Um, Mark. Mark, what can you tell us about yourself? Is there anything that you can tell us about yourself so that we'll know that it's you? What's your claim to fame, buddy? Maybe four times the room. Yes. Four ten? So this is four ten. I'm Kim. That's Chelsea. This is Lamar. Stay there. What did you say? Stay there, so stay something. Are you in here? It's my room. It's my room. That's my room. This is crazy. What is no, your name? No. Who's there? We like jokes. Do you like jokes? No. Knock, knock. Who's there? Do you want me to knock? Again? 
Do you like that? Yes. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who are we talking to right now? Three times. Three times. Knock three times. See what happens. Sir? <laughs> I can't. This is so funny. I don't get that. But it could also be like their level of IQ, right? What time is it? Instead of understanding like the full knock knock joke, just getting you to knock and when you knock, it's mm, funny. Yeah. I don't know really, but it's interesting. What the hell? Do you have any messages specifically for Chelsea? Behind her. Behind her again. Bad. Light. There's lots of lights in here right now. Are you okay with that? Her light. Do you prefer the darkness? Edna? Who's Edna? Eight. Eight, eight. She's been in 14 Don't minutes yell at me. almost. Oh, you should probably bring her out. All right, yeah, we're gonna tap you out there. It's been 14 minutes. 14 minutes. 14 minutes. That was crazy. Whoever was channeling through you heard our knocks. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Heard your knocks. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like really it said knock, knock. Yeah, I remember saying knock, knock. It's really freaking bright. Ugh. It's like my eyes just need to adjust. Okay, there we go. That yeah. was. That was crazy. Like you had us in stitches over there. It was like you were trying to do, or whoever was speaking through you, was trying to do a knock knock joke, but like couldn't really complete the joke. So mm -hmm. it was like knock knock. And then I was like, well, who's there? And then you were like, knock knock. And I'm like, well, who's there? And then he started knocking. And then <laughs> didn't she say like, do it again? Or knock knock? Yeah, or... it was like knock knock uh, three times. Yeah. I don't remember said so do it again, but every every single time it said knock knock, it was a woman. Oh, weird! Every single time, like a young woman, and I kept feeling and hearing people like walk. We heard voices from back there that weren't coming through on the headphones. It was completely different. It was so loud it actually echoed through the walls. Yeah, the one I didn't hear it at first, and then Kim told me to listen. And one echoed through the back hallway behind you. There's no way this, this mic Whoa. didn't catch that. Whoa. Yeah, the whole time I just kept feeling like someone was walking up and they'd get here and they'd just stand behind me for a while and then just walk back, like just pacing. So that's wild. I think we gotta maybe explore some more around here. I think, yeah, I think we also gotta go to the fifth floor. Cause that's where the most violent males were. Let's go. Yeah, they're not gonna like females. Mm -mm. This floor has a completely different to it. This is so much darker. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Very. Tapping. Tapping. <gasps> Are you gonna tap for us? That would be awesome if you could. Nurse. Nurse. Nurse? Is there a nurse up here? With a pointy hat? Did you hear that tap? Yeah. You heard something. 
My IR is tripping out. <gasps> Did you hear that bang? No. It was like, that was like a pipe or something. Just boom. From which, like, which way? From underneath us, like a few floors, yeah. Oh. bad energy or is that you? Yeah, the spirit talk. My spirit talker said it. <laughs> and then it just said one bad spirit. That's hilarious because I thought these came from the same phone, but they didn't. Wow. That's pretty weird. This room is weird. I don't know if you feel anything from this one. Yep. Are you able to oh, shove down the hallway? No. Oh, that was rancid. What? I was about to walk in this room and I got... No, it smells good now. Too many, many, many. I got like a rancid, like, like really gross smell. That means it's not something good. So has this place ever been known to be... The... Shh, 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 don't say. You know the word, the D word? I don't know. That rhymes with harmonic. <laughs> Random <laughs> word! <laughs> I don't want to say it because I don't want to hear a voice echo, but I, I do low key. But I don't know. I don't know if it does. No, or you, not. none of you guys have heard online. We are friends. Look in bath. Look in bath. Is there a bathtub up here? You mean back down this way? Are you down this hallway? Many spirits. <gasps> Guys, what? look down at the end of the hallway. I hope you guys see a figure, like a shadow. I don't. Are you at the end of the hallway? I don't know if that was like your lights. Coming through, but something at the end. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Gotta ask the question now. I don't see. Evil, evil, evil. Just, 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 just. Why is everything bad and evil and evil and bad well, as are, soon as we get to this floor? We are on the violent floor. That's A lot that's of bad true. probably happened, right? No wonder they call it the violent floor. Uh -huh. uh, what if there's like a that's it. there's got to be a portal or something here it's very possible what's done that way bad things happened i think we should stay in one spot for a second sure. just maybe see or hear try and are you able to make i know this sounds like a command but I'm just asking you if you can possibly make a noise for us or echo your voice through the hallway again. Like you did earlier. Campaigning. Violent. Again. Mm hmm Violent. Who's violent? 
If you're violent, why don't you move something? Move an object. Can you move something? The reason why I'm asking that is because I want to know if it's... I want to know if it's someone from a portal or if they're a patient here. Mm -hmm. It's a distance. Are you down there? Are you going to make a noise? Cancer. Are you the entity that I saw in the tuberculosis wing? Are you trying to get us to chase you? If so, make a noise. That was behind me. What'd you hear? Violence. Violence again. What the hell? What kind of violence did you like? Did you like violence against yourself or other people? Did you like violence against women? Give us a bang if it's a yes. Didn't hear anything. That's a good thing for us. Advanced spirit. What the, what the hell? Pick a new word. I know. <laughs> Why are you choosing to be a bad spirit? You hear that? Yeah. Uh -huh. Like an object moving? Are you in that room? sound like something a violent person would really say. No. Who are we communicating with? There's a cold rush coming down this hallway. Bye. From that way? Which it wasn't. Church. Whoa! What? What? Someone just brushed up against me. What? Somebody just brushed up like they were walking right past me. Rest in peace. No freaking way. What? Are you alright? Oh yeah, yeah, I just, I felt the whole... It wasn't anything like aggressive, it just felt like they were kind of... I was in their way and they are going... Can you look at some little bear? <laughs> and then light socket? Yeah. An angel bear. Comedy. Don't go. Goodbye. 
Goodbye residents on the fifth floor. Goodbye residents on the fourth floor. Sleep well. Good night residents on the third floor. You haven't been on the third floor yet, have you? No. Oh, oh. my goodness. Have we been on this floor? I don't think so. No, it's purple. We haven't been on a purple floor yet. Get away. Get away from what? moving away. You're moving away. Where are you? Red marks. Red marks. Brian. Brian. Oh, Brian. Okay. Brian. Brian. Yeah. Whoa. Did you hear that? Back there. Yeah. I don't like it. Are you back there? Just drain that? Yeah. Dunzos. What did that say? Die in the street? Died in street. The guy that escaped. Got hit by a car. In 2002, a lady was discovered outside who had passed away from hypothermia. Within a few months after that, a man hanged himself less than a quarter mile away. In 2006, two residents wandered away leaving one being struck by a car, and the other one was discovered in a creek. There's no way it said died in street. Whoa. It's pretty specific. Yeah. Wow. Is that guy here with us right now? Is there a message that you have for us? Phantom. Phantom. Yeah, we heard. Mm -hmm. We heard about them around here. Mm -hmm. So you're really going to go in that basement? I want to. It just seems so... Like... Timeline. Like, like, I want to. They are to. coming. Are there any bad spirits in the basement here? Go down. Okay, please be safe. Do you want us to wait right here? The creek. If you wanted to. Okay. I'm gonna get one of you guys to pass me down this camera while I. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. No. How deep is it? From the ground? Mm. Probably about six. Almost seven feet. It's about six feet. Evil is here. What was that? Someone's just putting pressure on my arm. Really? Yeah, I just weighed my arm down. Who is here? I think I was pulling it like, like, like yes, come, like pulling it. Yeah, like, like weighing this side down. Please be careful, Holmes. I can't see anything but pipes. Well, I can't even get far anyways. It's all pipes. Competition. Okay, I'm coming back up. Whoa. This is so cool. It's the old cafeteria. Wow. Please keep feet and shoes off the wall. Can't help it. <laughs> Ooh, someone was playing a game while they had a coffee. Oh, yeah. I hope you won. Oh. Lock the key. 
Love is the key. That's right. Wow. What does this say? Visiting hours. Don't leave. Whoa. We are so close to leaving. Yeah. Okay, you have us for a little bit longer. You know a way that if you really want to keep us in here. Murdered. Murdered. If Someone you, was murdered here. If you really want to keep us in here, you can make a really loud bang. And you'll probably get Lamar in here all night then. <laughs> Sorry, I just kind of offered you up. <laughs> down here it's gonna happen sure. you're violent towards women what about me military military, military. to be a supervisor here all you needed was your GED really mm -hmm. we don't want to space peace You don't want to speak. Are you done talking to us for the evening in this building? It's okay if you are. Just let us know you're done. Ghostbusters. Yeah, that's us. Do you want us to finish our investigation? The glass? Tap on glass. Add some glass. I'm adding glass, but there's glass over there. Okay, okay. Can you tap back? Tap whenever you have enough energy to do so, okay? This battery is gonna die too. This one is too. Morning, morning, morning. Warning? Morning. Yeah. It's been draining all of our batteries so much. What the heck? Oh, it leads into... Oh, it leads into the cross building. Where oh. We were here earlier, right? Yeah. Pride. Pride. I think it was this way. Oh, oh. What was that? Metal. It was metal. You guys heard that? Yes. It's right next to us. Who is that? No way. Did you just hear that knock? No. It might be coming from the other room. I've literally just heard a... Three times. Can you knock again for me, please? soon man there are children here there are children here but this is the seniors area i think spirits here can legitimately go anywhere mm -hmm. it's like it doesn't matter what building it is they can come did you know any of these doctors did you know dr park dr waltz dr nicholas Dr. Dwyer? 
Did you know any of them? What? That came from down there. What? That noise came from down there. This way? Battery's about to die. This will go into the last Yep. It's flashing. Is it? I mean, it said children, and then there's children toys here. So it could also... Fair. Why would there be a children toy in the elderly section? I mean, people with <laughs> dementia and stuff would play with it. There's the station. Yeah. Disaster. Disaster. This is about to die as well. Which way do you want to go, Holmes? I don't know. You guys pick a way and we'll go. Doesn't matter to me. <gasps> someone Accident. down there? Accident. Is someone down this hall? You guys hearing that? Mm hmm. Are you able to make a louder noise for us? Whoa, another one. Looks like someone's walking. Mm -hmm. Is that you walking? Do that exactly again, please. Okay, I just got a big whiff of cologne. Really? Mm-hmm. Like a big, big whiff. Just go. To be honest, I feel like we're overstaying. I feel like they might be getting kind of frustrated with us. Multiple spirits. I agree. I feel like we're just trying to pry answers out of them at this point. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll have to come back for another night. If we come back yeah. another night, is that okay? At the home. At the home. At the home. I mean, I'd say they want us to come back another night at the home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The nursing home. Yeah. The nursing home. Yeah. The nursing only so here another night. Yep. All right, so we will come back another night. No, no, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. William. William said nope. Maybe. I don't know. Mixed yeah. signals, guys. Yeah. Mixed signals. We'll right. let you rest for tonight, and we can come back tomorrow night. Bad ghosts. Bad ghosts. More noises from down there. Before we go, can you make that noise again that Chelsea pointed out? Oh, that was, that was right, right here. here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, well, honestly, I think you're right. At this point, we're just prying stuff out of it. I feel like a dick mm -hmm. for like trying to 
ask so many questions. I'm just so intrigued. Hi, wait, wait. I feel like too, if we all get a little bit more rest, it'll be easier on all of us. We'll have more energy and be able to complete it. Yeah. Makes going, sense to me. We've been going for how long? Well, what? It's 12 hours. Yeah. 12, 12 hours. hours. Right. Disagree. We'll come back and uh, continue on our journey here at Indiana State. All right, guys, so right now I'm continuing on in the tunnels. Everyone went to bed. It's crazy. It's been thundering all night. I decided to continue this for you because down here is the murder suit area where two staff back in 2009-ish ended up in a murder suit. So right now I'm completely alone in this tunnel right now. And uh, not gonna lie, I'm gonna try and make my way down, explore it a bit. And the murder suit is basically one of the stories that makes this place go around. So, back when the murder happened, one of the staff brought the other staff down here, shot him, and murdered himself out there. And down here, I don't think a lot of people spend too much time, so I'm uh, gonna make my way down. Right before I, uh, right before I turned the camera on, I got dead end. So, yeah, I'm gonna try and make my way down there. Someone down wait, there. Wait, wait, wait. Something is hidden. Something's hidden. Oh, this is nuts. Okay, Loki tripping right now. Oh man, is this heaven for you? Keep in mind, like right where I am right now, right where I came in, is right underneath the tuberculosis ward. And this is where they had the most deaths. Unfortunately, the psychiatric ward didn't have as many deaths as the TB ward. So ah! What the f Something just killed that light. Ah! Who's there? No way, man. Did someone just kill this light? No freaking way, man. Currently, currently right now, I'm just running off of my flashlight. So if this does, what the f Oh, Jesus hell. Oh, keep your composure, dude. Keep your composure. Disease. Oh, no way. Did you have a disease? That's crazy. Did you have a disease? If you had a disease, are you able to let me know if you're up here on the TB wing? Okay, do you have a name? No f way, man. Do you want me to keep going? This. I'm actually tripping, everyone. I am tripping pretty bad. Who is that? I know I can't hide, I'm in a tunnel system right now. Nineteen hundreds. Oh 
Holy shit, guys. This is trippy as hell. What is this feeling right now? Yeah. Who's doing this to me right now? Oh my god. So, keep in mind, it was the last time we were all here together. We all hit the psychiatric ward, which turned out to be not as active I mean, we didn't really spend as much time in there as we wanted to, but it was active, but not like people say. We had more of a bad feeling in the TB ward, which I'm underneath right now, than over there. And this place just gives off vibes where you just feel so uneasy. Danger. Am I in danger right now? What is that? Listen, listen. What the f huh? Am I hearing a voice? Hello? What's going to happen if I come down here? Man, look at that old toilet seat or something. Oh, there's caution tape down here. I wonder what happened. I mean, the fact that I'm down here by myself right now, in the early morning hours, is <laughs> thundered so bad, too. Oh my god. <laughs> this is all deep as hell. <sighs> yeah. Someone down there? Who's down there? I don't know what's gonna happen when I go down here. But, uh, yeah, I, I feel like I'm just feeling so many people around me right now. It's actually a trippy feeling. Thundered so hard right after we left the psychiatric hospital. I don't think I can get by this way. So right now, I've decided just to stick right here in the tunnels as I can't go back down there 
I got water all the way up to my ankles pretty much. So I'm just staying put here. I've never felt this energy in this place before like this. Hello? If someone's in this tunnel with me that had tuberculosis, are you able to talk into this device or come towards me, please? It is so creepy down there. And when I say like the vibes are insane in this place, I am not even overplaying that one bit. This is on a different fucking level, man. Are you at the end of the hall there? Hello? You make a noise? Oh! Not a whimper! Are you whimpering? There's movement everywhere. 1910. 1910s. 1910s. It literally just said 1910s. I just caught EVP on that. Straight up like gasp or something. Did you have tuberculosis? <gasps> That's not voices, is it? Sounds like someone's walking. Are you gonna hurt me? Oh my god. So, they use these tunnels down here for on rainy days. Hello? Right down there. They use these tunnels for when thunder and rain happen. They had, like when they couldn't go outside to get to different buildings, they would connect these tunnels so the staff can go down here and get to different buildings. They all link together. So like that's why it's over flooded there. The whole road up was flooded. Like I tried to stick this out just because I wanted to experience these for myself. And personally the tuberculosis hospital, the ward is directly above us and I saw this little child go down the stairs into here. So I wonder if like the sounds I'm hearing right now and what I'm feeling is this child or it could be a staff. But like whatever it is, it is not an easy feeling. I am feeling like someone is directly with me right now. Like I feel like someone is directly with me. It's not a chill feeling.
Hello? I'm losing my head right now. I am losing my head. Son of a bitch. Are you down there? Was that you? Someone is down there with me right now. This is nuts. I can feel them. Someone is right down at the end right now. That scared the living snot out of me. Jesus hell. Coil. <gasps> Coil. Coil. Thank you for letting yourself be known. I feel such an overwhelming sense. Knowing the fact that everyone else is sleeping right now at the accommodations place. Entrance. On land, on the property, they're far, they're like a 10 minute walk. And yeah, I'm in here with this person right now. Like it's so, it's such an overwhelming sense. Did you have tuberculosis? Dude, whatever is down that hallway is literally freaking coming towards me right now. Correct. Who's down there? said scrape. Are you scraping something? Like, this is actually insane. This is probably the most insane building I've ever done in my whole entire career doing paranormal stuff. The whole time I've been doing YouTube, Indiana State Sanatorium has been the most craziest spot I've ever stepped foot into. And keep in mind, I'm in the tunnels right now. We're murder suicide happen probably more deaths I'm right underneath the tuberculosis board and I'm here with someone holy f f what the f my light just went out my light literally just went out my flashlights out completely now as soon as I was about to do SLS. Are you in front of me right now? Son of a bitch. Jesus hell. It's like they just got up to the camera and then shut it right off. My flashlight just died. Guys? I think someone's here with me. Right in there. I 
hear stuff. I'm hearing laughing, like laughter. I'm hearing like laughter. Are you further down the tunnel? If so, I can't get to you. It's flooded down there. That is laughing. Oh shit! F that. Sakes, man. Holy shit. That is crazy shit. Okay, okay, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna move location. I think I'm gonna move locations a bit. So far I can't go down towards that way because it's over flooded. Maybe I'll go down the other way. There is an extra set of tunnels now. It is getting really early in the morning, so sunlight will be up. I wanted to just cover the tunnels and this is like, this is insane right now. Can you moan as loud as you can? It is taking me everything in me right now to stay here for you guys. This is If you can moan as loud as you can for me, I'll leave. Are you residual or intelligent? Literally, I hear like moaning or crying or like whimpering like farther down in the tunnel, but it's like it won't come to the corner anymore. It's like farther down there. I wish I can get down there, but I have no boots. Alright guys, I've been here for probably more than an hour. At this point, I am, I'm done. I've been here for the last 10 minutes. I've been getting nothing off the SLS, nothing off the Spirit Talker that makes sense. I think I'm just gonna head out, wrap up this part. This is the craziest place I've ever been in, in my entire life. Look at that. Sun's up. Oh, finally, <laughs> my God, <laughs> sun's out, baby. This is it, man. It's like walking into the Silent Hill movie in there. Like something is wrong in there. These people are stuck. These people are, they can't get out. They legitimately can't get out, man. I came to find you guys this morning. When we packed up everything, I kind of waited until now to let you guys know that in the tunnels, there was full on voices, like voices, and trickling footsteps, metal banging, 
all from in there. No and unfortunately, problem. I couldn't go any further because my feet got drenched in water. So you heard voices? Could you pick up like the male, female? Definitely female. Whoever these were, were part of the tuberculosis wing. Mm. Because from what I felt was they were in that area only. I didn't feel this at the psychiatric ward. So I think it was tuberculosis patients. Wow. Yeah, I know. It was creepy and like almost, like it gave me a panic attack. That's fair. Right? Well, I did it's... feel that the TB hospital was the haunt, like the most haunted. Because yeah, that's where the most deaths were, right? It makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I also agree. I really feel like the TB hospital is the most haunted one. At least in our experience and for, for us, that's... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, what? Over 4,000 people died on the property alone. Yeah. And majority of them in that. So overall, would you guys come back? Yeah. 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10 for you. Multiple times, <laughs> as many times as we can. Yeah. I would come back. Plus the owner is so nice. So accommodating, so yeah. great. Yeah. He's it a good was guy. an overall great experience. Check off the bucket list. I feel like I'm gonna miss it a little bit. Same. Yeah, it turned out to be one of my favorite spots. Ever? Ever, to a T. And there's so, like, there's so much we haven't done. Buildings we missed, corners we haven't been to, you know, like... Yeah, crevices. But I'm curious to know, after all of our encounters, who did we get in contact with? You know? Like... I think there's just so many that it's really hard to tell. Unless we were able to say, like, can I see your name tag? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I feel like it was just kind of, like, always active. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. Definitely haunted, but just, we don't know. Right. Now we're just about to head over going down to Kentucky real soon. Like I said before, if you guys are new to this channel or keep finding your way back, hit the subscribe button. Just do it. We're giving you guys paranormal content every week, once or twice. And hey, this is after death season three. We still have other spots we need to go to. This is only the first spot done the first location done in the series so that's it for indiana state we will see you again one day sometime soon on to our haunted road trip love it all right Whee! <laughs>